right now I am in my developer environment and we are going to create a new app that is going to be the blank canvas app and I'm going to provide a name for my canvas app as PDF feature and hit create. Let's wait for this app to be uh, opened. Let's keep and first of all, we need to go into the settings and enable the experimental feature for the PDF so that we go into the settings, into the upcoming features and search for PDF. As that is an experimental feature, it is by default off. So we need to get that turned on. And this feature allow us to create PDF documents from same galleries and containers. Let's on and close it. Let's just re-verify our feature is on. Yeah, it is on now. Okay. So the first thing what we want to do is right now I am in my app and inside my screen one. What I will going to I'm going to do is I am going to add one vertical gallery. Okay. So this is a blank vertical gallery at this moment, which is having a lot of Nipsum one like uh, demo data. And I'm going to add a PDF button, PDF document button actually here. Okay. And on the click of this PDF button, what I want to do is I want to convert these values but before that I have to go and add one more item that is a PDF viewer so that I can view what PDF has been converted. Yeah, let me put it here and resize it. Okay now I am in going into this PDF button and on select of this PDF button what I want to do is use this new PDF experimental feature function and it will require a target. Okay so my target will be the gallery one so pdf gallery one and if i uh, just close this but before that what i i just forgot to uh, add this into uh, one type of variable let's say i add it as a as a global variable so set where pdf one where pdf this pdf galleries out Okay, so now if I, so what it will do is it will, it will store its output into that particular where PDF variable and I am assigning that variable to this gallery, uh, sorry, this PDF viewer. So now when I click on this PDF button, it will go and convert this vertical gallery into the PDF and display it into this PDF viewer. Okay, so the other thing what I wanted to do is instead of this PDF uh, vertical gallery I want to display the screen okay so now I click on this PDF it will go and display the whole screen right like or lorem ipsum one two three etc so how you can see like how easy that is to go and generate the PDF in terms of this new experimental feature this PDF function also uh, have some options like orientation and uh, let's say landscape as the uh, power app has the enum for that uh, other other option we can provide is like page size uh, let's say i have the page size as or you can say the paper size we have the paper size as enum for the power app so the paper size i am selecting as uh, a3 the paper size dot a3 and the other thing what I wanted to provide in here that is margin, it should be not small, but capital margin. Yeah. I'm going to provide it as 24, uh, 24 PT, not pixel, but it's 20 PT. Yeah. And it is a string. So I can um, give it as string uh, for the whole four sides, right? Closing the parentheses or, and the, and the curly braces. Right, running the app one more time, just formatting the text and then I'm going to, okay, yeah, I, I'm missing something in here. So that is the page size is not the appropriate value or option value for this video function, but it is instead of the page size, it is size. And yeah, it should be the capital S, yes. So let me try to format text. Yeah, it's fun. 
let me run the app one more time and now at this time when i click on the pdf button you can see there are four side margins is available and the page size has been changed to a3 great so the next tip what we are going to do is instead of uh, having the screen one what we are going to do is using the gallery that is gallery one we are going to use these options of orientation size margin etc and we are going to use one more option which is available into the pdf called as expand containers let me make it true and let me run the app one more time okay so now app if you if you close the look you can see now all the four items has been displayed if you notice that there are there is a fourth item has been cut before but now i have the expand cut in a feature true so my all the four items has been displayed so let me do it one more time let me just go and make it false this expand continuous features to false let me run the app and you can see the output here you go so the fourth item has been cut right and if i go and make it okay so so if i go and make it false right so it's been cut but now if i go and make it true one more time what it will do is it will display all the four items properly so in case of where we have the vertical scroll bar this is helpful in terms of the critic the other thing what i wanted to do is let me add one more pdf document button or pdf button in here right and on select of this pdf button what i want to do is i want to use let, let me add a uh, uh, data source uh, i want to use uh, office 365 outlook trigger to send an email of generated pdf so to do that what we have to do is we have to uh, connect to the office 365 outlook connector so now my outlook 365 connector has been connected and then we can use on select of this pdf button uh, we can we can call out the send outlook 365 send email v2 function we can provide the two like i want to send it to current logged in user so user dot email that will be current users current login users email the sub subject can be anything like test email the body could be anything like uh, let's say test email with pdf right and in the ops in the other sections like we can provide some details of attachments and uh, to cc cc bcc and all that stuff so the attachment attachment attribute requires a table and the table itself has some other options in that like name so i'm providing a name as my taste dot pdf dot pdf the pdf dot pdf extension is necessary in this case otherwise it will not work and the other option which we require to provide to attachment is content bytes. so content bytes so the output of our experimental pdf feature is going to be the content bytes. so i am just providing this calorie one at this moment closing the all the required parentheses okay and try to format the text yep it's it looks good so let me just go and uh, run the app so run the app and now if i click on this pdf button it will go and let me open my email it will go and shoot me an email with taste my taste pdf pdf so the item has been cut as you know we have to provide that expand container attribute to true to get the whole data inside that gallery control so let me just go in here and with this gallery one i can provide the expand container that should be inside the calibrasis so the expand containers true right let me let me run the app one more time click on pdf 
let me go into the, my Outlook email and as you can see I received the PDF, my is PDF.pdf and here you go. We have all the four items displayed properly. Okay, so the other thing, the next thing what I wanted to discuss in here related to this PDF function is we cannot use the data tables directly into the PDF function because it is provide it is the not valid rbd so i have added one data table in here and i am going to use my employees directory as in the as a source for my data table and now what i'm going to do is i am going to let me just go and drag it a little bit later yeah here so now i'm going to add the pdf document button one more time in this screen and in here I'm going to provide directly my data table name. So that is going to be the data table three. And as you can see, it is giving me an error that the argument can't be used to create a PDF. To achieve this, the PDF doesn't allow data tables, but it allows containers. So what there is a one small hack you can say we can do in that case. So instead of using data table directly, we can use the container. Let me add a container. And inside this container, we can have a simple, let's say, text box and then a text box or label. And then we can add our data table inside this container itself. So right now I am in my container 2 and here I am going to add my data table and selecting my employee directory as my data source. And now in this click event or, or the on select event i provide the data table 5 instead of the sorry instead of data table 5 i am going to provide my container name that is container 2 and voila it's it it, it takes that and now it's working so if i go and click on the pdf oops i just forgot to add that pdf viewer okay so let me let me go and add insert pdf viewer and uh, save that output of our pdf control into the variable so let me just go and set a variable set uh, let's say where pdf1 so the output of my pdf function is in where pdf1 and as a document value i am providing the where pdf1 in here so now if I run it, click on this PDF, it will go and run my data table, right? So this is the basic overview of how we can use this data viewer and uh, sorry, the PDF function as an experimental feature for our application and how easy it is to create the PDF functions and send it as an email without using the Power Automate in this case, right? I hope you like my video. Please share, like or comment on my video. And also if you have any questions, just let me know so that I can provide any answers as soon as possible. Thank you.